Hello guys, my name is Rohit Kumar Thakur and in this video uh, we are gonna see how the flat list work in react native expo uh, You can see that this is the result of the project uh, we are gonna build so without wasting any time uh, let's start this project uh, Just initialize an expo project select the blank template and continue to dependencies downloading uh, when you talk about the performance of React Native Expo applications, then Flatlist performs much better than Scroll View. So it's very important to know how the Flatlist work. The Flatlist component displays similarly structured data in a scrollable list. Uh, it works uh, well for the larger list of data where the number of list item uh, might change over time. So here we have uh, created a dummy data. Uh, let's suppose uh, you have a list of data. Then uh, don't forget to give uh, the unique ID to each data to avoid warnings from the flight list. Uh, now in the index.js file, uh, we are gonna see how to fetch those dummy data and display them using flatlist. Uh, first I used a text component to display a normal header or you can customize it if you want. Uh, now inside the flatlist component, uh, first I set the data to data, then set the number of columns to 1. And if you are working on a different project, uh, then you can set the number of columns to 2, 3, 4, uh, just according to the need of that project. I set the key extractor to the unique ID uh, we assigned to the data. Uh, now inside the render item, I use the text component to display the title and the message of the data.
Uh, now if you are using the GitHub Copilot, uh, then don't forget to check the suggested code because sometimes the suggested code is different than uh, what we expected. Uh, now we are just uh, left with the styling part uh, so let's do it Uh, here inside the main app, uh, commit some changes to display the project we build. Uh, you can see those changes on your display. Here I committed some mistakes uh, because of GitHub Copilot I think, uh, so let's fix this. Uh, save the file and yeah you can see that uh, we display our dummy data using flatlist uh, now let's add some more data so that uh, we can see the scroll feature of the flatlist Uh, you can see that uh, we don't need a scroll view to scroll down the screen. Uh, Flatlist handle it well and it is a performance efficient. 
so that's it for this project tutorial uh, see you in the next uh, project tutorial of the react native expo uh, thanks for watching this video subscribe this channel for more project based videos on react native python data science django and machine learning